Hello everybody, welcome to day 30 of Lisa's stories and the name of this book is called Penny and Pup and as you see there's a river behind me I snuck over to my granny and granddad's which I'm staying well away from them even though I'm not supposed to be here but they don't know I'm here On the first night in her new home Penny had whined and howled and scratched at the door so her family gave her Pup to be her friend. Pup was all squashy and floppy and he lived in Penny's basket. She chewed and loved him to bits. One day Penny and Pup went out into the garden. Henry the cat was sitting in the yard. Hello Penny, said Henry. Where are you going? Penny put Pup down and gave him a little lick. For a walk, said Penny. Just Pup and me. Can I come too? asked Henry. Pup only wants me for a friend, she said, sorry, and picking Pup up again, she trotted down the path. By the back gate, Betsy, the rabbit, was sitting in her hutch. Penny, she cried out to her, come and talk to me. It's very boring, all on my own in here. Pup doesn't want to stop talk to talk. We're going for a walk, just Pup and me. Sorry, and off she went, pups with pups long arms and legs trailing behind her. On the edge of the lawn sat Matt, the foxy Roxy's cub. Come and play with me, she ba- he barked. Pup doesn't like playing with foxes, said Penny. We're going for a walk, just Pup and me. Sorry, Penny turned her back on Matt and walked with Pup across the lawn to the garden shed. Under the shed was a big space. Penny put Pup down gently and sniffed. It smelled exciting under there, like mice and old bones. We'll go exploring, Pup and me, said Penny, and pushing Pup in front of her. With her nose, she squeezed her head under the shed. Penny tried to follow Pup, but she was too big. She wriggled and squeezed and squeezed and wriggled, but she couldn't fit into the space. Pup! Pup! she called, but of course Pup said nothing. Penny tried to pull Pup out again, but she couldn't reach him. She couldn't even see him. Penny sat down and cried. What would she do without Pup? And what would Pup do without her? But the fox, foxy Roxy's cub heard her and came trotting across the lawn. I'll help you, he said. But though Matt pushed and squeezed and squeezed and pushed, he couldn't reach Pup either. Henry the cat was sitting on the fence and he saw Matt trying to rescue Pup. I'll help you, he said. But Henry was a fat cat and he couldn't even squeeze his head under the shed. Along bounced Betsy the rabbit. She was feeling happy because she had managed to escape from her hutch. I'll help you, she said. And because Betsy was a small rabbit, she was able to wriggle and squeeze and squeeze and wriggle under the shed. But Pup wasn't there anymore. Matt and Henry and Betsy all helped Penny to look for Pup. They looked behind the shed, they looked in the flower beds, they even looked in the pond just in case Pup had fallen in. But Pup wasn't anywhere to be found. And then suddenly, there he was. Pup was lying in the hedge where a family of mice had dragged him. The mice were all curled up in Pup's long dangly arms fast asleep. Penny looked at Pup and she looked at the mice. It seemed a pity to disturb them. Come and play with us instead, meowed Henry. Yes, do, cried Matt and Betsy together. You don't mind, do you, Pup? asked Penny. But Pup said nothing. All right, I will play with you, said Penny. And she raced and chased and chased and raced. All around the garden with her new friends, Penny was having such fun that she forgot about Pup. When it was tea time, Penny remembered poor old Pup 
lying in the hedge and went back to fetch him. The baby mouse was still asleep, but Mother Mouse was awake. May we borrow your pup? she asked Penny. He makes such a lovely bed for my babies. Pop looked very happy with the little mice in his arms. They need Pop more than I do, thought Penny. Now I have real friends of my own. Yes, you can have Pop, Penny, said to Mother Mouse. I don't think I need him anymore. The end. I hope you enjoyed that nice story and kind of sad story near the end called Penny and Pop. So I hope you have a nice day and get outside. Bye. See you tomorrow.